Hey you guys, say hello when you pop on. You're a replay watcher if you're on this part of the video. Because there isn't anybody live quick enough. <laughs> so just drop me a hashtag replay and put a disco ball. Disco ball emoji down in the comments. I'm feeling the disco ball vibes here lately. Okay, we are already at the third episode of Free Training Friday. So if you are new to my page, hello, my name is Ashley Will and every single Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I share with you business tips, okay? Online business tips to really help your business grow. Whether it's mindset, I do a lot of mindset training or actual uh, tangible things that you can write down and implement into your business immediately to see movement, okay? So say hello when you are popping on. Um, <clears throat> these, these trainings aren't too long, so don't worry, but do grab pen and paper on just about all of them because you're gonna wanna take notes. <laughs> it's hard to let everything sink in right when you're listening to somebody, but if you write it down, and obviously like this will be on replay so you can come back and watch it. So. This is what I see so often people miss out on. And if they implemented these two things, and myself too, hey Brenda, what's up? Myself too, like in the past, I have lacked these two things. And guess what? My business stunted, okay? It didn't grow, or it fell off, or you know, something happened. Hey, Cynthia, you gotta say hey when you're popping on. Uh, disco ball emoji in the comments. And um, so any guesses? Any guesses you guys that are on here right now? What are two things that people are totally missing the ball on when it comes to seeing growth in their business? Guess, one guess. <laughs> Actually, there's two things. What are two things that you guys think people miss out on the most? And I think a lot of times people have good intention, but then it just, they fall off and they lose sight of it. Or maybe you didn't have these things from the beginning, okay? Whitney, girlfriend I haven't seen you in five years. <laughs> um. <clears throat> All right, this is it. The big C word and the big F word. <laughs> this, this is it. If you have these two things and you keep at these two things, I'm telling you, you will see growth and movement in your business. Commitment. Write it down at the top of your paper. Okay? <laughs> Silently. Well, you're not. Look, you're out for the world to see today. So you're a creeper. <laughs> hey, Chelsea. All right. This is it. Commitment. Commitment, you guys. When you are starting these online businesses, or if you, you, if you already have a business, okay, these are still important. It's never too late. It's never too late to start over or to do something new or to do something old. <laughs> It's never too late. Every single morning you wake up, you get to decide, this is how I'm going to show up today. Commitment is number one. Committing yourself to the long-term goal. This is where people get it wrong. And you see so many people like flailing around, right, on social media, trying to find their place and their business and trying to make it work and going here and there. And, and, and I've been there myself. Okay, but first of all, you gotta find your place, right? Because even if you're at a place and you apply commitment, it's not gonna work. You're gonna have commitment for a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months. You're gonna be out, you're not gonna be fully committed. So commitment is number one, okay? Committing to the long-term goal that you have for yourself and your business. And so many people come into businesses and they don't, have you know all their goals checked off on in week one they're off to the next thing the next shiny disco ball <laughs> right or whatever you want to call it C 
commit to whatever you decide, right? That's the first thing. You have to actually make the decision and quit the, uh, guys, it's killing you, okay? It, it killed me. One foot in, one foot out. If you have one foot in and you're like this, it's not going to work. You're not going to make it. Just save yourself time. You have to go all in on whatever you decide. So first is make a decision, okay? No going back, no looking back. Make a decision and then make a long-term commitment to that decision. That come heck or high water, you are seeing this through. You will get results. You will take action. You will be successful. You will be earning whatever your monthly income goal is, okay? But having that long-term commitment, so when something comes up, because this is life, this is business, it's not all perfect, it's not all rainbows and butterflies. If somebody's telling you that, they're lying, run the other way. Okay, things will come up if this is life. So when things do come up, you have that long-term commitment to yourself and your business and your family. And it does not sway you. You just keep going because you have that commitment okay so that was the first one commitment second focus this is the big f word focus you guys quit getting distracted stop getting distracted by people things places that do not have your best interest that um make your blood pressure rise, that gets you going like this, okay? That make you shaky on the decision that you're making for yourself and your family. Focus. This is what I do, and I encourage you to do the same because it's been a lifesaver. Literally on my social medias, okay, if I see a person, a post, anything that like, gets me into comparison mode, okay, or makes me feel a certain way or makes me a little bit shaky, they're gone. They get snoozed, they get unfollowed. It's not that I don't care for that person or like that person. I mean, maybe I don't like that person, but you know what I mean. I've unfollowed and snoozed a bunch of people that I actually like, but I know for myself that I will get into this comparison thing and it makes me shaky and it gets me not focused on my long-term commitment. This is the number one thing that has played a role in my success is my blinders on, my own lane, and focus. I have a goal. Every day I wake up and work towards that, I cannot be distracted. My goal and long-term commitment is that important to me. Okay? And your commitment, your decision should be that important to you. And if it's not, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. Okay, You guys know, like I'm here to shoot it to you straight because if you're putting effort and time into a business, I want you to actually succeed in it. So you have to make the right decision for you. You have to have that long-term commitment and then you have to have that focus. Okay, if I see anything, and you guys know, like, oh, one of my biggest pet peeves is the passive aggressiveness on social media. Like, I, I don't do it. I can't do it. If I see it, it's gone. <laughs> so if you see something that upsets you, you don't have to comment on it. You don't have to have an argument. You can literally press a button, never see it again, and go about your merry way. Like, can you believe that? You can actually do that on social media. And I do it every single day. And it has played a huge role in my joy, my peace, my happiness, my success in this business is focus and eliminating distractions. Two biggest things you can do for your business. Commitment, focus. That's it. Okay? And... I'm a people pleaser. How many people pleasers do we have on here? Put people pleaser down in the comments. I'm a people pleaser, right? And you want to make everybody happy. And, um, oh my gosh, like you guys, I used to feel so bad even up to like a week ago. <laughs> people that I knew didn't support me 
or even follow me anymore or show me any encouragement, they were still on my timeline. And I am such like getting to that people pleasing thing. I would tell myself, I'm like, oh, like I can't unfollow them or unsnooze them. Like that makes me feel bad because I don't want them to feel bad. Do you, do you see how ludicrous that is? Like they stopped caring about you a long time ago. <laughs> Right? Are they encouraging you? Are they adding, are they depositing anything into your bank? Because this is a two-way street, you guys. You can't just be depositing in other people's banks and getting nothing in return. Okay? And I don't mean money, numbers. I mean support, encouragement, positivity, anything. Literally anything. And that's how so many of us get so depleted and so down and so like, ugh. Because we're constantly giving and we're not receiving. So you have to take care of you too. And I got my head, I'm like, what the heck am I talking about? Like, unfollow. <laughs> and then it'll come a time you don't see that person anymore. And then you forget about them. And you're like, it's just crazy how it works. And so many people get stuck in this vicious, toxic cycle. I hate social media. It's so much drama. It's so much. It's not. It's not. You let it be, but it's not. Eliminate. I'm like really hot. <laughs> but I'm, I'm so passionate about these two things, you guys, because they will literally be game changers in your business. Not only your business, but your life your life as a whole, okay? So let's recap. How are we gonna see some massive movement in your business? Commit to it, okay? Well, actually, before that, you gotta decide that you're gonna make a commitment. Commit to it, commit to the long-term goal, not the one-day goal, the one week, one month, the long-term goal. Because when things pop up, you keep going. Then focus. This one may be the most important. Okay, these two things trump talent, skill, like psh, that that comes next. Like strategy, all that stuff comes next. If you don't have that long-term commitment and that focus, all the strategy, you could literally have the best systems, the best strategy, the best coaching in place. And if you have not committed to yourself and your goal and you are not focused, the strategy and the coaching and all of the systems mean nothing. Okay, so make that long-term commitment. Focus, eliminate distractions, okay? Doesn't mean you don't love whoever, but you can't have it here in this space. Hey, Annie, I just saw your comment. Yeah, focus, okay? That's it, you guys. That's what I have for you today. It is free training Friday. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, Say something below because I want to give you guys trainings that you actually take something from and will actually implement into your business because you will see growth and momentum start to build if you just commit and focus. That's it. That's it, you guys. Okay? All right. Bye.